Do you want to have a free, happy life, full of great experiences? When it comes to life experiences, I always saw it as a learning process. I never wanted just to lie on the beach and do nothing. I wanted to experience life. Even though I could lie on the beach, you know, I was born on the Russian Pacific coast, here very close to Japan, Korea and China. And basically I could spend at least two months per year lying on the beach in summer, you know, when it's warm. But lying on the beach and drinking a cocktail is just some fake image of success that many people have and also Instagram helps, you know, to support this kind of image. But the fact is that all successful people, all happy people, they live their life to the fullest. Before we continue, I would like to say that consider subscribing to this channel. Here I talk about business and self-development. My name is Nadia. I also wrote a book on personal development. You can check it out in the description below. And if you like this video so far, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we go on. I remember even being a um, child, you know, I liked learning things, not because I was supposed to learn, but because I was curious how things function, you know, how life functions, how human awareness, how human consciousness function, the way things are. Those things were very interesting for me. And at some point I realized that there is no end of your development. Yeah? The further you go on your path of development, the more you learn and there is no end to it. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to try everything in your life. You can go deeper in one thing. It's just like in a relationship, you know. It makes sense to work on your relationship, to stay with your partner and not to change partners just like that, unless it's a toxic relationship or you have serious value conflicts. Yeah? Like you want to settle and have a family and your partner wants to travel around the world and just discover new things. Then you have a serious value conflict. But otherwise, it makes sense to stay together, to go deeper, to learn more about yourself, to support each other and so on. And the same goes for any activity in life. If you want to be successful, you do not necessarily have to try everything. You can focus on one thing and become best in this one thing and then help people with this thing. And on the way, of course, you try out different things, but things that you enjoy. Yeah? Because when you work a lot and when you have energy, then you want to enjoy things. And you get a lot of energy when you live your life to the fullest. Yeah? The more energy you invest, the more energy you get. And usually people think it's the other way around. They think you need a lot of rest and only then you get energy, but usually not. If you really get too much rest, very often you end up doing nothing and having very low energy. I met this kind of people with low energy, like not wanting to do even basic things like brushing their teeth or taking a shower and not having energy. And those were people that consciously decided that the best way of living their life is just doing nothing. So they managed to arrange their life in the way that they didn't need to do anything at all, you know, that somebody else could cover the expenses and things like that. But at the end, they end up being depressed and their life was miserable. They were really unhappy. And this is what happens when you don't use your energy, when you don't want to do anything in life at all. The average kind of energy level is when you are able to do everyday things, you know, you're able to take care of yourself, you are able to fulfill your job or do your business, but that's it. You don't feel like you want to invest more energy into discovering more, into going further. And this kind of average approach is more or less satisfactory, but does it make you really happy? Is it really all that you can get from life? Can't you go further? Or are you just so much afraid of going beyond your comfort zone that you prefer this average approach? And if you really invest a lot of energy, then you get a high energy level, yeah? And then you live your life to the fullest. And those things, they are supporting each other. The more you invest the energy, the more you get, yeah? The more energy you have, the more you enjoy life, yeah? You can live your life to the fullest. You can really enjoy any process in your life. You can learn out of mistakes. And you don't even see those as mistakes. You see them as learning processes. Yeah, You can change any situation for the better. You can make friends. You can enjoy life. Yeah? And you can become free and happy at the end. You understand the world more and more. And you can give also something to the world. And there is no end to this activity. There is no time to go on the pension. You know, some people want to go on the pension as soon as possible. And it's great for financial independence. 
course it's great if you can retire very early. It means that you are free to do what you want, but it doesn't mean that you are free not to do anything at all. Of course, you are free, but this will make your life miserable. Just making the pictures of you lying on the beach, drinking a cocktail, you know, with some beautiful people around, beautiful surrounding around, this cannot be the meaning of life of a person who managed to achieve so much, you know? So usually people who retire early, if they're smart enough, they just continue working, they continue growing and developing and spending really a lot of time on self-development yeah? because they realize that happiness is much more than just having money or having retired. So basically life is a learning process and, and that's great. Take it as it is. Never close your mind to learning new things. Never close yourself from other beings, other people who you can benefit or benefit from. I hope you like this video. Make sure you check my book. It's on Amazon. In the description below you, you can see the link. You can also get more information about this book in this video here. Leave me a comment if you find it important to work a lot and to use your energy to be happy. Watch some other videos of mine on business and self-development. Subscribe so we can see each other next week, next Wednesday.